this video is for class 9 physics and in this video we are doing experiment number 8 and this will be our fifth practical the object of this experiment is to verify that the perpendicular distance of an image behind the mirror sorry the plane mirror is equal to the perpendicular distance of the object in front of it the apparatus required for this experiment will be a piece of plane mirror with a support such that we can keep it vertical a drawing board a sheet of white paper three pins meter rule pencil and some board pins theory for this particular experiment is that for an object kept in front of our plane mirror the image is formed behind the mirror at a perpendicular distance from the mirror equal to the perpendicular distance of the object in front of the mirror which means if you are standing 3 meter in front of a mirror your image will also be created inside the mirror that is behind the mirror at a distance of 3 meter so let us begin the experiment with the apparatus required so here are our apparatus required we need a plain paper which is already fixed on the board we need some pins in this case we are using needles a protector ruler pencil and a plain mirror fixed with a stand such that it can be placed vertical to begin with the experiment we have already placed a white paper on the board right and then uh, we are keeping a mirror a plain mirror and we are drawing a line such that uh, we can keep our mirror back during the experiment on this particular line now we have got one line on which the mirror can be placed then with the help of protector what am i doing is i am trying to draw a perpendicular to this previous line so now i have uh, already put a point with the help of protector and then i shall join this point with the previous line such that i shall get one perpendicular line now on this perpendicular line with the help of ruler i shall measure a distance of 3 meter such that sorry 3 centimeter such that i can place one object at that particular position so 3 centimeter right so here i shall place my object in this case my object shall be one needle now after placing the needle on, on this particular point that is uh, 3 centimeter I am replacing my mirror back such that I will get one image of this particular object in the mirror let this point be represented by A now uh, if you I want to rotate the uh, position of the camera right you shall get the image of this particular object here you can see the image formed of this object here this is the image and this is the object now the next step will be uh, like our previous experiment I shall block the image by using two needles right placing on the white paper such that uh, I shall place one needle here or anywhere somewhere around here okay but this particular position should block this image right should block this image and using the another needle I'll put it somewhere around here so that this needle will block the image of uh, this object here this image right and it will block this object also so let us see how now I'll try to block the image formed so I'm taking one uh, needle another needle right and we'll try to block the image formed so by closing one of my eye right I am trying to block the image formed with the help of this needle like the previous experiment and I'm using the last needle to block the object as well as the image now at this particular position this particular image formed has been blocked and this image and those two needles are falling on the same straight line right like the previous experiment now removing this particular needles and marking them such that uh, we can draw straight line this is our second point okay now 
marking it as RNS okay, and then I shall draw a straight line okay, with the help of a ruler and pencil. So, here is my straight line. Okay. So, now uh, this straight line and this particular perpendicular should meet at a point right should meet at one point. So, let us see at what distance should it meet. So, now I got the point of intersection as well. Now, let it be P dash. Okay. So, now uh, using the ruler I am trying to measure this uh, distance behind the mirror. Now, as you can see it is uh, nearly 3.2 now it is nearly 3.2. So, uh, my answer uh, was supposed to come 3 but in this case I am getting nearly 3.2 uh, which is also nearly equal to 3 ok. Um, there might be some problem in drawing the lines and all. So, but still the answer is quite close. So, I am getting OA equals to 3 centimeter and OP dash equals to 3.2 centimeter. So, I hope you have understood the step. So, here is my uh, final uh, diagram after the experiment ok and just now actually we measured this distance and this distance here right and this thing needs to be filled in the table also afterwards in the observation table. So, please remember these values we shall use it afterwards. Similarly, it was done for the second observation also where the distance was taken 5 centimeter right. This time uh, this distance also by measuring with the help of ruler we got 5 centimeter only. Now, for the third observation we have uh, distance given 7 centimeter of the object from the mirror. Uh, luckily, here also we got 7 centimeter only um, after doing a proper experiment. Okay. This is how the steps were done for all the observations. Uh, I hope uh, you have understood. right? So, let us go to the observation table. So, here is our observation table. The least count of the meter rule which was 0 0.1 centimeter. Right, we had done three observations: one, two, and three. Uh, for each case, right, our uh, particular uh, answer for the experiments are written on this column, which was blank before. For three centimeter, we got three point two. For five, we got five only, and for seven, we're getting seven only. So, from the observation table, you will notice that for each observation, the uh, perpendicular distance of the image from the plane mirror is equal to the perpendicular distance of the object from the plane mirror. Result, a plane mirror forms the image of an object behind it at a perpendicular distance equal to the perpendicular distance of the object in front of it. So, I hope you have understood this much for this video. Thank you so much.